Lowell, Massachusetts was the first industrial city in the United States. It's been a place of invention since its beginning. When it was built in the 1820s, the brick textile factories, the network of canals, and the large population of workers were all new. Lowell combined technical, social, and architectural innovations and became a model of industry in America. At a time when most industry in the United States was small scale and spread out, Lowell was a city of large mills. The first textile mill in Lowell was built in 1824, and the city grew quickly from there. Just 30 years later, more than 10,000 workers were employed in 10 large mill complexes. Lowell made almost 2.5 million yards of fabric every week. Lowell grew so quickly because its location allowed mill managers to combine many important resources. First, a 30-foot drop in the Merrimack River provided water power for thousands of machines. Second, the busy port of Boston was only 30 miles away, and with the Middlesex Canal, it was easy to get imported cotton to Lowell and finish cloth to market. Third, the money to build the mills and expertise to manage them also came from Boston. Most of the investors, agents, and overseers came from a tightly knit group of Boston-based merchants. Fourth, the New England countryside provided workers for the mills. Most of the early workforce was made up of young women from farms and towns across the region. They lived and worked in Lowell for a few years before returning home. Lowell's shape came from this combination of resources. Its street layout followed the elaborate canal system built to get water power to the mills. The need to connect each machine to water wheels in the mill's basement created the long, tall, and narrow mill architecture. The city's layout, social structure, and even landscaping grew out of the ideals, aesthetics, and central organization of the mill owners and managers. They hoped to create a well-designed, healthy, and harmonious community, and so they built housing, churches, libraries, hospitals, and parks for the working population. The workers who came to Lowell also created a strong community. The mill workers published a literary journal. They fought for their rights and strikes beginning in the 1830s. And, as new groups of immigrants arrived, they created an ever more diverse city. With this unique combination of resources, Lowell became one of the largest industrial cities in the country. It was a busy and vibrant community that continued to be an evolving place of invention.